This is a basic rainwater harvesting tank, pump and filter system. And as a follow on to the last video I made about everything you need to know about changing water filters, today we'll do a basic inspection of a real life system, replace the filters, clean out the tank screen and the first flush diverter. First up, I'll remove the pump cover so that I can see the pressure gauge. Now, there is still one bar of pressure in the system, so I'll go ahead and close the valve at the tank outlet. Now I need to release the pressure by pressing the red buttons on top of the filters. Once that's done, uh, I can see the pressure has been released and the filters should be pretty easy to open. I'm using a filter wrench to loosen both of the filters and later on I'll unscrew them by hand. As a little side note here, if I didn't release the water pressure, the filter housings would have been a whole lot more difficult to open. So the first filter is a sediment filter and if I recall correctly it's about a 20 micron filter and looking at this filter it's not terrible, I've seen much worse but it's also not great and it needs to be replaced. The second filter in line is a carbon block filter and as you can see this one is also dark and dirty. Uh, it's been in here for about a year and this one also needs to be replaced. So I went ahead and washed out the filter housings and hmm, where are the o-rings? Okay, not to worry, I found them lying in the bucket. So I'm going to inspect them quickly and these still look good, they still feel nice and soft so I'll lubricate them with some food grade silicon grease before screwing them back up. Just having a quick check under the filter heads and everything looks good and clean and there's nothing stuck under there. So I'll go ahead and install the new sediment filter and the new carbon block filter. And you can see that this is what the new filters should look like. Now in this arrangement, this is a two stage filter system. So uh, the first stage after the pump being a 20 micron sediment filter and the second stage being a carbon block filter. So I'm carefully screwing the filter housings on by hand and I'll tighten the last bit using the filter wrench. Now you can see there's no pressure in the system so I'll go ahead and open the tank valve and then let the water gravity feed into the filters. While the filters are filling with water I'll press the red buttons to bleed the air out of the system. Now bleeding the system this way is only going to work if the water level in your tank is higher than the filters. 
if it's not, go check out the previous video where I explained how you can bleed the system uh, if your water is not high enough. So I was able to bleed all of the air out with zero water pressure. Cool, so let's quickly dry off the filters and check for leaks. To do this, I'll close the main water supply valve and then open the tank water supply valve and then turn on the pump. So it looks like we're holding 4.3 bars of pressure and it doesn't look like there are any leaks. Lacker, man. Now, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click the bell icon so that you are notified as soon as the new videos are out. So after a quick sweep out and wipe down, it's all looking good and it's ready to go. Next up is to drain and clean the first flush diverter. So I'll go ahead and open up the valve at the bottom and we'll just let the water drain out. Now yours may not be full. Um, some people prefer to leave the valve partially open so that it automatically drains after each rain. Uh, or you could leave the valve closed and then you can actually go and drain it after each rain. And from what I've been told, this diverter does get cleaned pretty regularly. Now I'll open up the cap, throw out any dirt, wash both the cap and the ball, and then pop it back in, screw it back on. And also, in this case, don't forget to close the valve. In this scenario, the last filter to clean is the tank screen. Now, not to worry, if you don't have a tank screen, you'll likely have a leaf catcher or a rain head before the first flush diverter. So you can go ahead and clean that. Now, I believe this tank screen hasn't been cleaned in about a year. And looking through the inlet hole, that looks to be about right. Oh, wow, this thing is dirty. <laughs> this thing definitely needs to be washed off. Okay, a quick spray and a scrub and it is good to go again. So I'll pop the tank lid and the downpipe back on and the job is done. Well, at least it's done until the next inspection.
Now, it's probably a good idea that these diverters and leaf catchers and tank screens are regularly cleaned so that they don't get this massive buildup of dirt. There's also a whole lot of other water tank and rainwater harvesting videos on the channel. Go and check those out. I'm sure you're going to find them really useful. Thank you very much for watching and you'll see me next time. Cheers.